Hello, let's talk about your patron's account. There are two ways to log in. They can log in from the upper right hand corner or down below over here on the right hand side. This allows them to log in with a username and password or a card number and password or PIN. They can also reset their password if they forget their password via an email or they can self register if you allow that with your policy and procedure. Once they log into the system, they will be presented with a screen that shows them their account. They'll immediately see what items they have checked out in the system. They can see the due date, call number, and any additional information about that particular title. Their fines tab will show them the amount of fines that they have. So right now I have a $5 fine. If I click on that, it will take me down and show me a little more information about that fine. So I can see that I have a new card fine right there in the amount of $5. This will also give me a historical look at my account. It will show me any time I've made a payment. Um, if I lost an item and I had to make a payment, I can see all of that information here. Now, there is integration with PayPal, so your user can easily come in and make a payment from the system. They can look at their personal details, which will give them a quick breakdown um, of information. They can update their information in the system if your policy allows it, and that would allow me to come in and update my phone number, perhaps, or my email address. Some other options that they can do is change their password. Um, if you allow it, this would allow them to come in, enter their current password, and then create a new password in the system. There are preferences that allow you to specify um, how long the password must be and if it requires a strong password. Your users can view things like their search history. This would show them what they've searched for in the system. We have multiple options when it comes to their reading history or their circulation history. Um, for example, sometimes users will have their information anonymized. So depending on your policies, um, if you anonymize circulation history, meaning you retain the statistic, but you anonymize the patron's information, um, they would not see this. Um, if you turn it on, this would allow them to see their information where they can order it by title or by author so they can see what they've checked out in the past. The third option is their privacy. If you turn this on for your patrons, this would give them the choice to keep their reading history, delete their reading history, or use the default. And the default would be what your library has chosen. So sometimes they'll choose by, you know, let's say day or, um, you know, 180 days, 365 days. There's a built-in purchase suggestion, which allows your user to fill out a form that will then get sent to the staff members to make a choice of whether to purchase that or not. Messaging will show them some options. Um, do they want to receive SMS or text messages or emails? Um, and these will be proactive messages, giving them nice reminders about an item due, when a hold is ready for pickup, or items that they've checked out. They can also view lists. So if you watched an earlier video, um, we have public lists that librarians can curate, and then of course private lists, which allow them to collect things. So here's one that I've created for cookbooks. So they can go in and add items there, where they can email it to themselves, print it off, or download that list. Nice ways for them to keep track of things in their account.